Hello everyone, here I am walking in the woods, it's a wonderful day, the sun is shining and uh, no I'm just kidding, um, yeah it's a bit darker, I think it's a bit darker on this screen than it is on in real, I don't know how to, no I can't make it lighter, I'm in darkness, I'm in darkness right now. So, I mean, this dark wood, yeah, it's okay, it's okay, no problem. Seriously, it, it's a bit lighter than, than you see on this screen. Um, so, I was thinking to talk a bit more about this shadow side, or some call it the demon side, but most people, most of these uh, psychologists, I guess, call it uh, the shadow side because that was the original original name of it in the last video I pinned a comment my comment uh, about two videos that are really great about this um, so it was Jung the psycho psychiatrist Jung 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 that came up with this concept of the shadow and supposedly and I think it makes sense first of all and uh, supposedly when you release it you when you how do you say when you let this this uglier part of your personality uh, when, when you let let it be a part of you you get more capabilities <clears throat> maybe yeah so so um, uh, and there are these theories that society is keeping these sides in check because it would give us more creativity and pro product not not necessarily productivity but just creativity and becoming a, if you want to become the best of what you could be, it seems like you need to integrate this shadow side of yourself and maybe not and maybe or probably leave behind this idea that you are a good person. Um, so this is something that religions have been teaching is teaching us in some way they, they, they tell us the religions tell tell you that you're not perfect so why not or they, they tell you that you are you are dirty you are this and that okay if if you're told that you're dirty if you're told that you are you have these flaws may, maybe it's time to embrace it at, at least a bit and uh, so uh, so the idea is that, um, what's, what's the idea? The idea is, the idea is that we are, we have these sides of us, we, we suppress it, and when we suppress it, we kind of get, we become less of ourselves. And um, so it, it has to do with these urges, the urges, different kind of urges, and things you want that are not that are not uh, proper and um, the idea is that you try to accept these uglier parts and maybe maybe what you say try to give it something instead of becoming a uh, Something that is pushed into the corner on the darkest sides of your psyche. Okay. So. Maybe. Maybe we. I, yeah, I didn't plan this video as usual. This is just a walk, walking video where I talk. Uh, some sounds of trees. Okay, so. Um, so, 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 uh, when, when you embrace this side, um, so, no, 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 let, let's continue, let's continue instead. Um, so, maybe it's a good idea to at least, um, 
I'm, I'm just talking about this. Like, what do you think uh, about the idea to to um, to not consider yourself to be a good person anymore? So even I at least try to be a good person and by my own measures of what a good person is. And I know that there's a lot of other people that do the same thing. But um, but maybe that's just narcissism. Maybe it's just uh, some kind of brainwashing that makes you um, be so in love with your best or most uh, beautiful sides of yourself that you adore the most. I mean, the shadow the shadow side has to do with things that you are not that you um, you are not proud of yourself. You are ashamed of these sides, but maybe this shame is just programming. Maybe it is something that is not that bad. These sides, or maybe maybe it is bad. Maybe there are bad sides, and you are actually a bad person. And maybe I am a bad person. So, so this, this, uh, these are the concepts that we could, uh, or, or that I am talking about in this video. And what do you think? Maybe we, maybe I uh, could see myself as a bad person, and by doing that, I free myself. I free myself from my own. Uh, what do you call this? Shekels or my own, uh, like uh, my own mental prison or something. It could actually be a great idea to consider yourself as a bad person. And even if you're a bad person, may I mean, maybe that's a good default way of looking at yourself. I'm, I'm a bad person. Like, I have these bad sides. And this part of me is like ugly and just embrace it uh, as a part of you. And uh, like I can be a bit lazy, for example. But what about that? I'm supposed to embrace that, I guess. Or maybe the laziness is just, uh, maybe it's just, uh, how do you say, a symptom of the shadow that is suppressed, you know? So the, the idea is to try to stop or, or try to not see ourselves or myself as a, as a good person, as, as, as something, may, maybe not even see yourself as something beautiful, but something ugly. And just, this is me, I am ugly, you know? Uh, so like, um, like, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, like, just see, maybe I just could see myself as an ugly person and that's, that's it and nothing to be shamed about. That's how I am, you know, but I mean the ugliness inside me. Um, and you also probably have these ugly sides inside you. And uh, even though we are these monsters inside, we are this. Uh, we have these scary sides inside us, inside ourselves. Even though we have that, um, you can still keep the goals that you have. I think, and I can do that. And uh, I guess some of you don't like me saying us like. I shouldn't say us, because I'm actually talking about myself. Uh, but uh, just talking about myself seems a bit self-centered. So, um, And many of us are like similar people, I think. Um, so, uh, yeah, and also, you know, th this is the thing. When you have, when, when you are, what do you say? I'm... Um, 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 this thing about the mask and, and all these things about this evil that is going on in the world uh, because of the fact that I'm doing something good now, now, now I talk the opposite I'm doing something good and this good is not appreciated and it will never ever be 
rewarded. It will never ever have any reward, even, even on my deathbed. It will, I will never be paid back. My lost time and my suffering, it will never, never be paid back by anyone. I will never get an um, apology for someone that was, for example, um, wasn't there when it mattered, when it, when, when it was needed. It will never happen. Uh, but what was the point? It was, I had a point. Um, yeah, it will never, never, ever be, be appreciated. Uh, but still, but still, I am doing it and still you are doing it. And because of the fact that we are doing these things, because of that, you saw me there, right? Because of that, I can, I can be in these dark woods. And when I am in these dark, dark woods, I don't see any demons. I don't see... I don't see any demons because the only demons you see when you are in the, in the dark woods is your own demons. I don't see anything. Hello, is there any demon here? Quiet. Nothing here. You see? So, so the idea is like to try to embrace this um, this shadow side of yourself and uh, this is not what society wants because it means that you from what I understand it means that you um, will level up kind of and it would mean that because when when you get whole when you get more whole maybe I mean we're we're not whole, uh, even, even if we embrace this uh, shadow side, we are probably not whole anyways. But, but we, at, at least it's a bit better. And uh, yeah, uh, so, um, so what's the point of it? What's the point? Why, 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 uh, why do you want to do this? Um, uh, because maybe because I'm a drama drama queen and I'm I'm here on YouTube being a drama queen and and trying to make uh, people listening to me maybe that's it I don't think so at least I I can't be sure maybe, maybe that's it but I would say that um, I I honestly think this seems to be something good or <laughs> not using the word good I mean it it seems proper to to, to um, to do this, it makes a bit sense that, that that we have this suppression of ourselves, that we are not, we are like our original way of being is not, uh, it's not beautiful. It's not beautiful in in the, in the in the way that we have learned that the word beautiful is by our culture. But many of you probably already do this. I know. Some people that embrace this side a lot, <laughs> I guess, that I have seen on YouTube uh, that uh, is behaving very improperly. But uh, maybe, that's, maybe that was good. I didn't realize. Um, yeah, but at least I, I think it's a good sign if you can go, go in, in the dark woods and like if, if you don't see any demons, if you're not afraid in the dark, it means that it means that you you are uh, doing that, I, and and I think I have been been uh, kind of how do you say just I didn't know what it was, but I think I have been doing this, and I think because this this is the part of having critical thinking and seeing the truth and uh, having this uh, journey. The, the, that uh, at least I am doing, and uh, this truth journey. It is a. It, it was about embracing the shadow side. It was about not being as society wanted. That was that. That was the recipe for it. And yeah, I think I saw a ghost. Ah, no, no, this is scary. 
<laughs> okay. Now is it the demon here? Is it the demon in the tree? Is it something here? Is it a demon here? Uh, uh, no, this is scary. Uh. Okay. Fuck it. Uh, sorry, wait a minute. Hello? Hello? Okay, I'm back. Something happened. Um, yeah, so I think I'll be going back now. So this is the second I think or third recording about the shadow side and we will have more of this because I think it's good to to just try to um, train to not see yourself as a good person it it, it, it becomes a prison it becomes a prison to see yourself as a good person and it is pretty vain it's pretty vain vain to to see yourself as a good person and it makes you not see the world it 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 becomes like seeing yourself as a good person becomes a veil in its in itself you know the veil on that that uh, matt is talking on about in, in quantum of conscience he talks about these veils you know and so so like seeing yourself as a good person that in itself puts puts gives you a pair of, of veils that, that uh, stops you from seeing things that you maybe you should see the sky is getting dark you see you see my head i don't know i don't know what you're seeing <sighs> so yeah i'm alone here because yeah, I guess some people are don't see any point in going in the woods right now. And yeah, in some way they are right. In, when it's dark, I wouldn't know if I go into uh, like uh, dog shit. So that's a problem. Uh, okay, so embracing the shadow, which means the sides that are ugly that you're not proud of and trying to respect them i think i mean there's there is some kind of animal in all of us and uh, how do we uh, how do we be, how do we handle that situation that we are obviously in, in in this vessel that we're in we want to be good and maybe we we try to be good but also when we do that i mean um even if you have like yeah yeah so <laughs> i guess i guess jesus wasn't forced to see himself as as uh, as this animal this this ugly animal right <laughs> so in some way we this is some kind of this is some kind of um exercise that not even jesus had to go through Right? So why, why would Jesus see himself as an ugly animal? What if Jesus actually was good, wanted to do thing, good things, but he also had to view himself as something ugly? Um, so this is what it's about. Uh, from, from one perspective, when we go against society, or when, when I go against society, I, I became, I, we all become martyrs because we are we suffering, we are not getting what we want and we're never going to get paid back. We're never getting it back. No one will, will admit anything about it and uh, that's how it is. So it's like, first of all, going this path like that we all are doing go becoming uh, like uh, suffering for something maybe that will be no no it will probably not be uh, how do you say there will be no like history about this you know the 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 truth the truth is always wrong and it never wins uh the 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 truth uh the truth has no chance it it is just uh, forever uh, 
forgotten and it will never ever uh, pay anything to be on the side of truth and uh, uh, so um, so we are kind of martyrs that are suffering and dying for something that will never ever be seen and besides that we are forced to see ourselves as mon monsters because we have these vessels that are like meat, meat vessels that are uh, that gives us these animal sides, right? So that's fantastic, but that's how it is. And uh, so, yeah. And so now I'm going back. Soon I'm exiting the woods. So you will have a good evening or something, morning, and bye bye.